Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here, SD Fish and Sifts, and I'm taking a look at some San Diego bluefin tuna fishing lures. We got everything here from the heavy mustad rip rollers to the poppers up here and the trolling setups over here, the Mad Max and the Cedar plugs. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for tuning in. I really, really appreciate all the love and support. I've been feeling it every single day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I wouldn't be where I'm at uh, if it wasn't for all of you awesome people out there. So thank you for all the love and support. Thank you for tuning back in. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe, pound that like, channel, check out channel memberships, Amazon storefront all that uh, good stuff because you can buy a lot of this stuff in links on the Amazon storefront. So we're coming into July now and the bluefin tuna fishing is starting to pick up. Little by little things are getting better each week as we move uh, deeper into the summer as we're hitting July now. So it's going to be, I'm coming up on my first trip of the season. I'm going on the Highliner out of Seaforth Sport Fishing in Mission Bay. Uh, first time I've gone on uh, that boat. I think it's a new boat this year. It's gonna be an overnight trip. Thank you, thank you to Mr. Matt from Opa Kill Bags. Local San Diego kill bag company, you gotta check them out. But he invited me out on the trip. He watches the videos, follows along, and had that trip going. So he invited me on the trip. Um, it's an overnight trip. We're gonna be targeting bluefin tuna. So I was talking to Matt about as far as what we're gonna be fishing for those mixed grade uh, bluefin on this overnight trip. And then what I've been seeing down on the Sunday's re-sport fishing report videos, if you haven't already checked those out, nine, nine o'clock on Sunday evenings, I do a sport fishing uh, report video where I go down to the docks, to the landings, get to talk with all of you awesome anglers out there coming back with uh, fish and seeing how, how the fish were biting, what you were getting them on, when they were biting, so I can be prepared and ready to go now that it's now that it's showtime. So we're gonna check out these lures. I'm gonna get into and talk about my experience with them, my personal experience, and what I've uh, my knowledge about the lures as well. And we'll work from the bottom of the water column uh, up to the top, and then trolling lures. So start with the knife jigs down low with the heavy guys. So the first lure that we have here is the Mustad Rip Roller, 500 gram knife jig, you know, vertical jig to drop down at nighttime for the bluefin. When the captain calls out, oh, it's 300 feet down and you, you got a lot of current, you don't want your line scoping out that much. So you're gonna drop one of these big, big, heavy lures down. I got, so I got my Rip Roller last year in September when I went on the two day trip with Rosenden Electric, Danny Carr, thank you for taking me on that trip on Pacific Islander. And I bought this at Fisherman's Landing right before the trip. They take off the stock hooks that come with it, the assist hooks, and usually are putting on different modifications. So this is how Fisherman's Landing rigged it up for me. They put the split ring and then with two of these large assist hooks. And then up top, then you have here up top, got the shock absorber, the ring, split ring with the shock absorber and then 130 pound leader on the end of it. And then that's coming up to the swivel. And then I just tie that to, I was tying, you can see, I was tying it to my braid before, but I'm gonna start running a top shot of mono, 100 pound mono, so you can just tie those leaders the rest of these jigs don't besides the taddy 4.0 here don't have any leaders tied up to them you just tie these straight to your mono leader so working down the line here next up i got some slow pitch jigs knife jigs you can use these for bluefin these are a little bit lighter this one is a 200 grams i believe this one is 190 right here and I got these from Juan Cook, Captain Juan Cook down in Baja. He was slaying the yellowtail with them. 
but I'm gonna use them for have them ready to go for the bluefin in case there's less current one time or the fish aren't as deep. I can get away with a lighter style jig. Same thing with this little different shape, but this is also a slow pitch jig right here, J JYG. I found this on the reef in Florida when I was scuba diving. I lost my GoPro and then I went to recover my GoPro. And as I was doing that, I saw this stuck to the reef. We got a taddy slow pitch lure right here. Maybe smaller tuna. I don't know if I would trust these assist hooks. So I can switch out. That's the thing with these hooks. So you see they're all single hooks here, except for you got some of the, the treble hooks. So you got the assist hooks or single ring single hooks. Two assist hooks. Some of them have just one on the top. You can rig these all different ways. So after the that, then you got some of the flat fall style lures right here. These are none of these are the actual flat fall brand, the Shimano flat fall brand. These are some Squid Co. pre-rigged flat falls glow in the dark on the back. See these two have this is a larger, I believe this is 350. These are 250 grams. This 350 has the big single hooks, welded wire single hooks with the leader on them. 100 pounds, same thing. 130 pound leader crimped, all good to go with the barrel swivel on the end of it. So you can just tie those straight to your top shot or to your braid. And then this one has two circle hooks on the end. Give these a shot. And then this is a Juan Cook rig from down in Mexico. Those are the flap. And then here's a smaller one. These You can use these for smaller size tunas, bluefin and yellowfin tuna as well. Then I got this bad boy rigged up from a guy that was telling me that Mustang a couple years ago when I first started learning how to fish these fish. He was going on the boat and he came back and said that one guy got a couple of bluefin on the Taddy 4.0 yo-yo iron. So I went into, this was from Fisherman's Landing Tackle, and I got this and I got it rigged up. So they added the hook, cyst hook to the top of it right here. The original hook is on the bottom. This single hook right here on the bottom. Welded wire, welded ring. And then this has the 130 pound leader with the swivel and the shock absorber. Then you can even use the classic candy bar yo-yo iron right here for the blue fin and drop down on them. I've been using these for yellowtail, but I'll have them ready to go. I'll bring them on bluefin trips, or if they're not as deep, you can use even a junior size yo-yo iron. So you got kind of here. This is a single hook. You got the taddy, and then a, a UFO junior size. Then you get into the mega bait cold sniper lures, and this is the one that I got my personal best. 110 pound bluefin and 70 pound back to back on this. I got this from the tackle shop also at Fisherman's Landing. So I caught this one with the treble hook on it. And then the Colt Sniper, the, all these come in different weights and then different sizes according to the weights. These are the Colt Sniper, Daiwa, Zikana, Megabait, all those just metal lures casting lures so that's the, looking at the stuff that dropping down low from the fish starting with the big heavy deep stuff when the fish are down there 300 feet deep that's how i got it at nighttime outside of san clemente island on the offshore trip last year was on the mustad rip roller then you, you can get your slow pitch and knife jigs here slow pitch jigs you get the flat falls haven't caught this is kind of the classic one before a lot of this stuff a lot of people were just going with the flat fall but not that many people fish it i don't know they've been all talk about the knife jigs then you got the yo-yo irons and then you have the junior size yo-yo irons like i said you got the options on the different single hooks or treble hooks or or assist hooks you can and you can put the hooks on the different ends so it's all personal preference and then here's even a little, maybe I'll play around with this guy. Plastic, JR gave me this guy. 
six ounce plastic with the big hook on it. Even drop that down for the bluefin. Next up here for San Diego bluefin tuna fishing lures, we got the sinking stick baits casting lures. We got the Nomad right here, uh, Riptide fast sinking stick bait lure. I know some people that have gotten um, bluefin with this before, and then even you can toss. Uh, I've heard about guys getting smaller tunas or dorados casting this this mad skag. This is also a sinking stick bait style lure, smaller profile. They, so you can see with a lot of these lures, different profiles, different sizes for what maybe you know what the size bait the fish are tuned in on. Then you got here after the so, the, so you got stick baits right here, and then you got jerk. I haven't used these too much to be honest. You got a jerk bait right here, Colt Sniper jerk bait, and the uh, SP Minnow. I believe that's considered a stick bait, Daiwa. Those you'll cast out into the foaming fish or jumping fish or whatever it is and pull it through and hopefully get a bite. Then you got the classic West Coast style California with the surface iron. And here's the Taddy 45 mint and white. This one's missing a lot of the paint, but this is the same one that I got La Jolla Bluefin casting into the foamers with uh, Shane that was back in 2021 July of 2021 got the nice about 60 pound bluefin on the surface iron the Taddy 45 casting into it and the men in white so same thing just going to cast into the fish and rip it through them try to get lucky this is the scrambled egg colored Taddy 45 surface iron and then you got the candy bar mint full size surface iron and the candy bar fried egg junior size light surface iron so these are surface irons that you can also use to target the bluefin out here in san diego you got the stick baits and then up here you got the poppers this is all the latest that everyone's been talking about here is the ghost pop the ghost popper there's a couple different versions of it i have this one i got this one from also from fisherman's landing and i got it rigged up so same thing it's got the leader on it i can just tie to it then I have some of these other poppers. This is a Williamson Jet Popper. You can see the front of it. Creates a lot of commotion and splash. This is a Daiwa Mabachi Popper. It's got the angled front to it. You got the Chug Norris. Big, big flat front. Pink, like cheetah print. Chug Norris, 180. And then check it out. This is the homemade popper. Smaller profile, a little bit shorter, pretty thick, flat head. I went to a state sale off of Coronado years ago and got like 300 plus lures. And this was one of them. Same thing with you and you got this guy. I'll get into that later. That's where we're looking at the surface stuff for casting at the San Diego Bluefin Tuna when you're fishing for them. Be able to cast, you know, stick baits, jerk baits, uh, surface irons poppers all different sizes then over here we got the trolling lures for the bluefin tuna starting off with the latest and the greatest is the mad max you got these in different sizes. they make a 240 even bigger than this that i have some friends that they like to run those like hunter doggo when i was down in ensenada fishing with him he likes to run a lot of the 240s I can, Nom runs the 200 pink that I used to have. Uh, now I just have this orange one left, but that's been catching a lot of fish for Nom. And we got we got on them last year. I got them with the Freedom Boat Club trolling the 200 size Mad Max. And then the, the 160, I think you can also get them with this. I don't know if you can troll as fast or with the people I think have had some issues with it swimming, but different mad max are the latest and the greatest high speed trolling you're usually going about 13 miles an hour uh, 15 miles an hour with the 200 size putting it for maybe a 30 or 45 second count back even deeper way far back there and uh, you got that on the leader you're going to want to have a mono mono or fluorocarbon leader i'm going to start going with the mono for the mad max Put a top shot, 100 pound mono, and then tie that. 
onto it each time. And you got the classic. The, I've heard about people getting them on the DTX Minnow. Probably going to want to go with the bigger one. But this 140, you wouldn't be surprised if I got some with that. Same thing. And this can be cast also. But typically, you're going to be using this for trolling. I haven't heard about anybody casting the Mad Max. That's all trolling. Then you can also... This is typically trolling, but you could cast that too, possibly. And then same thing, casting and trolling. This is the Halco Laser Pro. So that's gonna that's gonna do it right here. And then I don't know about these other. This, this somebody told me at the tackle shop last year about getting some bluefin trolling those tunas or Dorado or Yellowtail or whatever. A lot of these lures you're gonna pick up different types of fish with them. You can also catch yellowtail and, uh, you know, Dorado, yellowfin tuna, all that good stuff. Even, you know, in the yo-yo iron, you can catch lingcod and rockfish and bottom fish too, dropping this stuff down. But getting back to these trolling lures right here, now I got the Halcos. Like I heard these are great for yellowfin tuna. These smaller size Halco, I got these years ago at the Fred Hall show. Got these Halco Maxes. I got the Ahi colored one and the purple one. And then I have these came with the estate sale. These Halco. I don't know what brand this one is. Big, big boy. But it seems like it's almost like a Mad Max style. Could be a Mad Max style trolling lure. So could try try these guys out. Same thing. JR gave me this one, like that other plastic over here. JR gave me this plastic. It's the flying fish with the weighted front he's already got the leader tied on so i give that a shot and then all reliable i got a whole pack of them thanks to lou gatto down in baja he let me come back with all these cedar plugs that piece of wood right there rigged up you can get it in the straight wood color or in the color the purple does really well the blue and the white so you the cedar plug is all reliable Bluefin tuna, yellow fin, can put it as a daisy chain. There's a couple different ways to rig it. And then this is more was for the Dorado, but we might be, get bycatch with some bluefin or some tuna with these feathers, these skirts or trolling lures right here. And then uh, I guess these are for Wahoo. I got these in the state sale. Might have to check those out. Thank you all for tuning in. Listen to me talk about these bluefin tuna fishing lures uh, my experience with them here in san diego and i hope it was beneficial to you thank you for listening thank you for watching follow along next up i'm going to give them a shot offshore overnight trip on the highliner stay tuned for more fishing adventures mikey sd fishing sips one love troll hard fish hard you